Welcome to my fragrance show. We'll learn together and grow together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Welcome to my fragrance show, and welcome back to the new season of Marshall's Blends Fragrance Show. Today, we'll be doing day number two of Milano Fragancie Basilica. I saw Bruno, Alessandro Brun, sorry, Alessandro Brun, uh, being interviewed by uh, Max Forte, and w one of the fragrances that they spoke about was Basilica. If you remember, last season, I had tried a Brera, and I thought it was wonderful. It's a really good rose fragrance. Basilica is an interesting, interesting fragrance. Now let me read you the notes. So question, would you like me to read you some information? Would you like me to tell you what notes are in Basilica? Let me tell you what notes are in there. <laughs> Basilica launched 2021. This is a new aspect of Alessandro Brun. We all know Mask Milano. So Milano Fragancia is from the same person, just a different aspect. That's how I'd say it. The nose behind Basilica is Violin Colas or Coyas. The top notes are Rosemary and Thyme. The middle notes are incense, milk, and labdanum. The base notes are cypriol oil, or nagarmota, virginia cedar, and woody notes. Mm. It's incense off the top. You get incense like immediately, immediately. It's incense and wood. Oh, so, so good. Oh, it smells so good. And look, there's still some left. And I'm not going to OD on it because I just might want to be able to wear it again. It is 9.52 a.m. Hmm. Oh, so this definitely is in my wheelhouse. It's definitely in my wheelhouse. I'm very happy with the smell. It is, yes, incense, olive banana, a little bit of vanilla, smoky. Well, let me correct that because some sometimes if smoky, I've heard, you know, in my life, smoky has been controversial. So it's not smoky, but it is incense smoke. You know what I mean? So it's not burnt. It's definitely saffron in there because I can feel it. A saffron tends to break things up. I feel that breaking up. And it's also giving me leather, you know? So it may have a phantom note of leather in there. Maybe the, the rosemary and the thyme that's giving me that feel because it can do that. Oh, this is good. Listen, it's different on paper than it is on skin. On paper, all you get is, is incense and maybe a little bit of a lactonic note. Uh, on skin, you get so much more. So we'll see how this performs and I shall be back. So I am getting ready for my day and I would like to hear from you. How is your day going? How did it begin? And how is it flowing? Let me tell you guys. So I haven't worn this shirt in about eight months. And it feels a lot looser. I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> and listen, so yeah, the goal is to lose a little bit more weight. <clears throat> I will do that. I'm doing the whole uh, apple cider vinegar water in the morning. Where you put two caps in your water. I'm doing the walk a lot more and 
it's going pretty well. So I shall be seeing you guys. I've done this in other videos, other episodes, and I've even made an episode of how to tie a tie. Tying a tie is not that difficult. There we go. And so another thing, if you feel like, oh my god, I hate wearing ties because it chokes me out, chances are the size of your shirt is too small. And by the size, I mean the neck size. So if you feel choked, get uh, one size larger and see how that feels. Because you shouldn't feel choked. You should feel comfortable. See you in a few. Allow me to reintroduce himself. His name is Lorgans. <laughs> so this is my favorite, favorite co-host for fragrance episodes. And you do see him in pictures. His name is Lorgans, named after my cousin who knitted it for me. Lorgans. It doesn't sound like a regal or at least a very aristocratic name. Lorgans. <laughs> So it is 2.14 p.m. and I can still smell it. I'm sweating. I can smell it some more coming off of the parts of my body where I sprayed it. Good, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Six hours and it's going good. Uh, it doesn't project beast, but it projects nonetheless and I like it. I like the smell. So see you I guess in two more hours? It has been way over six hours. It's still on skin. It stops projecting, I think, after hour number two. If you're sweating, it'll again reactivate and project as happened today. But it's still on my skin. I still smell it. I don't think it creates much of a scent bubble after hour number five or six. Then again, what I am noticing is the decants, think about it their stem is sh way shorter than the stem is for a full bottle. I'm not gonna be getting the full effect of the sprays. Assuming if it's giving me six plus hours as the decant size, it should be a solid eight plus hours. Performer, it is very good. My final thoughts are this. This is a wonderful fragrance as an introductory fragrance to an incense family. If you are an incense lover and like let's say you love the inicios you love the mask melano mandala or mandala whatever powerhouse incense fragrances this one is not that this one is a lot milder more subdued and i think it really does work as an introductory fragrance for me it scores a 32 out of 10 I like it. It is one that I am going to be getting. I'm afraid that all eight I'm going to want to get. So far, Brera, I'm getting. Basilica, I am also getting. I think even if you are a person who loves very strong incenses, as I do, this one you I like for those days that I don't want something that is so overwhelming, something that I can wear. For example, like today, I had a doctor's appointment. I had to do a few errands and a few meetings and a few... Uh, things like that. So I didn't want something necessarily that would be too strong, uh, too off-putting, or too unrecognizable, hashtag challenging. So this is a good gift. This is a wonderful fragrance. And good job, Alessandro. I, I really like it. Goodbye, my lovely fragrance blenders. I'll see Ciao, ci vediamo domani, parliamo pronto. Ayo, Daria Riño o Daria Ruga, nos vemos mañana. A demain. <laughs>